Hi guys, Todd here. Guess who forgot to switch the mic on again? <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> this evening, oh God, I'm an idiot. I'm going to be having a look at the Castador. Um, I'm sure the G is silent. Castigador. Castador. Yes, feel free, email me, take the piss out of me. I got it wrong yet again. Um, right, this little box mod here, just want to make one thing clear before I start. I did get in touch with this company uh, when they first said they wanted to send it on to me because I wanted to make sure that it was not a clone of this. Uh, the Dos Equus, uh, Equus? I can't remember now, um, by Mohawk Mods. Uh, because I was concerned that the, the switch and uh, everything, it was just a different look, but it was the same device. It's not. It, it, it is similar in design but uh, and size, but the, there's a few differences inside there. And, and I'll show you that when we're going for the close-ups. I'll actually take this thing right to bits uh, so you can see inside it and how it's assembled. Um, this is the EVE uh, Rebuildable Drip Anatomizer. This is also made by the same company, um, Emperor Vapist. Almost forgot there. Now, this is, it works at about 209 euros, which at today's conversion rates, I think, came out about 151 pounds. Uh, you can also get this, I think they're gonna have a supplier in the States as well, so you'll be able to get this worldwide. Um, it is made of aluminium, T6, and also made of Delrin. They're basically the Delrin is the white bit, and all the black bits are T6 aluminum or aluminium. I'll give you the dimensions and stuff like that in the close-ups, or I might put up a splash screen. I might do both. Live on the edge. Um, now I've had this, th there are going to be a few reviews coming up, if not already out, uh, because I know a few other reviewers have actually got this as well, uh, so keep an eye out for them. Really nice vape off that Eve, by the way. Um, now, this is a parallel 18650 box mod, uh, so two 18650 batteries. Please remember, if you're running with two 18650 batteries, you want to get two of them, brand new, tie them together, marry them, label them one and two in A and B or whatever you want, but keep them together. Um, and I think that'll do for just now. We'll go in for some close-ups. Here we go. Right, this is, uh, yeah, it, I've heard a lot of people saying it re resembles the, a packet of Marlboro with this design, but I don't see it myself, but uh, anyway, uh, each to their own at the end of the day. Um, now, the white that you see here, that is all Delrin. Um, this white bit going round here and round here, and the switch here as well is Delrin also. Um, all the black that you see is T6 aluminium. Um, so, aluminium and Delrin. Without any batteries in it, I make it out on my little scales here to be at 145 grams in weight. You do get a serial number. Uh, there are going to be 1,000 pieces of this device made and I asked them to put 1969 on it because I'm an old fart and that's when I was born. Um, Sizes, you're looking at 25 mils across the top here. You're looking at uh, 78 mils here. And yeah, depth wise, you're looking at 70, uh, sorry, 50 mils. The logo, you can see here, this has been engraved in the aluminium. So it's, you know, you can feel it there. So they've gone through the black onto the aluminium. I know there's probably some significance to this, but I've not looked it up and I've not checked it out, so I apologise for that. Uh, this is a parallel 18650, and basically if we push that to one side, pull this back, and you can see we've got uh, silver plated contacts going on here, sorry, and the springs actually hold 
this all in place there's, you'll see there's a hole there and uh, you know the spring just pops in uh, I have dropped this box and both of these did pop out <laughs> uh, but they go back in easily enough there are no screws on the top to hold this together it is held together by these two Phillips screws here I'm not going to take this one to bits however uh, because being perfectly honest I couldn't um, I, I, I mean I know how this is going to work um, I'll tell you what I will I'll take it to bits as much as I can so first things first I've just pushed the this little side in here and I've pushed out, I'll have to probably push it a little bit more so that I can grab it with a pair of pliers and pull this right out. Haha, <laughs> God bless the little Allen key. Right, I've pushed that through there. So we'll take that out and out she falls. The reason I'm taking that out is because there is a screw underneath this spring here. I don't think it's got anything to do with holding the whole assembly together, but just in case. So I'm just going to undo these screws. Fill it. Yeah, I, I can't get that off. You do need to get into, you'll see through the hole there, that there is another Phillips screw. I'll get in there and get that out. And that should allow me to pull this bottom section off now, which it does. And you can see up there what's going on. Uh, right, so we've got a contact here as well. Um, this will probably be earthed and tied into the switch. Right, there's got to be a way to get this to bits. Got to be. So those two bits slide out. Got another four screws going on here. I'll tell you, I really hope I can get this back together or I'm going to feel really, really silly. There we go. And off she comes. Yep. Uh, this bit looks kind of familiar to me. It's, uh, in some respects, it's similar to the other box mod. So, there's your switch here. So you got silver plated contacts going on here. And you can see the curve in that there, that's what gives you the tension on your resistance in your button when you're pushing it. There's a house in here, your button's going to sit in there. And there's our positive contacts for the battery. And that's where our ATI sits. So the ATI is going to actually, this bit's going to sit in there like that. So this bit sits in there like so. I've got that bit right. I have a little switch here that there. Uh, it's just going to sit in there like that and then we just have to put the whole thing back together same as last time with the Dos Equos is, is just push it down as you're pushing this on and there we go everything's good five tens lined up there and I can just do these screws back up so I'll whiz through this so that's that back on Let's pop our little plates back in here. Like that. Uh, what else have we got to do here? <laughs> Quick, how did this come to bits again? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, we've got to pop this bit back on. So there you can see you've got your contact there and your contact here. So that goes on there like so. Bada boom. So I'll do those two remaining screws go in there. Now I have to put this little guy back in. Kind of like have the, the the open piece facing in the way there. I'll just drop that in there like so. And hopefully I should be able to screw that back in. There we go. Then have the door. I'm going to sit in there, take my pin once again, that's it, jobs are good in. So there you go, that's your, your contacts making contact with the door basically, um, and you've got your contacts here. Right. 
twin 18650. What I will say, however, before you put your batteries in, uh, you want to put your ATI on first. That's uh, quite important, that. Because what happens is when you put your ATI on, you know, there's it's it self-adjusts, almost, you could say. So uh, if I screw this down, there's no resistance at all. It just goes on fine. If I had the batteries in, there would be pressure against that plate at the top there, uh, which would make this quite hard to screw on. So I'm just going to drop my positive up, two 18650s, push this down and push in. And that's it. Quite nice to Eve. Uh, it actually comes with uh, a whole pile of. Uh, it's got copper, silver, black, and uh, oh god, another cover as well. Uh, I'll just give you a quick peek inside this just now. Um, so this little bit in the top comes off. Get your airflow going on like that. So you can take these off and change them out. And that's the build inside, and your airflow comes in from. Hopefully, you can see it there. Blink, see there's a hole there. Um, it's not a bad view thing. Uh, it's quite good. Been using it an awful lot. So, uh, but listen, that's it for the close-ups on this device. Um, I'll cover everything else when we go up top. Right. So at least you know how to take it to bits now. Um, at least I know how to take it to bits now. Nothing like learning on the job, eh? Uh, I, I will admit, I'd taken it to bits, but I, I'd never taken the top bit off. Uh, but I'm glad I did, because it just confirms that, it, once again, it is not a clone of, you know, this one in any way. It's a similarly styled, but that is it. Um, it's also quite strange, because the, I will say that the Eve, whilst... <laughs> dangerous ground to get into. Um, it's quite similar to the Manta, also from the Philippines, in the way it draws air in. So, I don't know what they get up to over there. Listen, how does it vape and how does it perform and whatnot? Uh, I have no issues with uh, voltage drop or anything like that. It performs really well. Uh, the switch, it's, there's no locking at all. You know, you've just got the button there. But it's not really the kind of thing that would go off in your pocket anyway. Uh, it is quite firm. It's not... It's a really good switch, actually. Yeah, I do like it. Um, I think a lot of this comes down to the, the how you feel about the looks of it. Um, I know certain people, Chaz, um, who are smitten by this device. And... Uh, for me personally, it's looks-wise, it doesn't really do it for me, um, or the styling, I should say, but I cannot fault the performance. Um, the only things I want to point out again, once again, when you're putting an atty on the top, do yourself a favour, just drop it down like that, let the battery sit like that, screw the atties on and off, and then do it back up, and you'll be fine. Don't put your atty on and off when the battery cover battery's in and tightened up. Have a little beep. Yum. That is nice. Um I'll tell you what, I don't know if this will help. This this might help some folk, but just for a comparison, um there it is next to an iStick 50 watt. If that helps, gives you a, an idea of the size, if you like. Um, so, you see, it's not a big device at all. It's aluminium and Delrin. Now, I do like the fact that the Delrin's white because it doesn't highlight the scratches as bad as you know, black Delrin does, not naming mods there. Um, the the aluminium um, 
yeah that that's going to get you will get surface surface scratches on that over time uh I don't know how that's going to work longevity wise, one day you might end up having to polish the black up to silver, I don't know, um, but for me I've been it's been in and out of my pocket for the past few weeks and I've not had any issues with it. Listen guys, it is a good device, it, £150, it's hard, to, it's hard for me to justify it because it's not my thing, um, but <laughs> I'm going to say this again, you know, here, have a look at it. Do you think it's worth £150? Only you can decide that. Um, remember, that number will be uh, between one and a thousand. There's only a thousand produced. Um, I love vaping with it. I, I, that There's no two ways about it. I really enjoy vaping with it. Uh, it is a pleasure to vape with and I do like the eve as well that's a really good little dripper and it does perform bio it does perform well right that's better that's a better combination that's the the black cover for the eve um and a little chap is that a chaplain no, this isn't a Chaplin. I think this was the Cyan Mod Switch drip tip. Well, that's going back a bit now. Yeah, that's 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 sweet. That's really sweet. Um, right, I'm off ski. Uh, thank you to Emperor Vape East. Remember, all the links will be in the description. It's 209 euros, which works at about 150 odd quid in the UK. Uh, you can get this order in the States and whatnot, so it's all out there. <laughs> There will be other reviews coming out, nothing surer because I know that other reviewers have got it. So maybe best holding off and waiting for the other reviews before you make a decision on whether or not you should purchase it. Never just go off some knob in a shed. Number one rule. Guys, we'll catch you next time. Bye now.